A patient seems to be wearing thin for some members of the UAW. We are five weeks into the strike against Detroit's big three automakers. And as Dave Kinchman reports, some members are urging union leaders to get them back on the assembly line. Mr. Fain, get us back to work. Enough's enough. Darvin Fletcher, a 28 year veteran of Ford Motor Company, with a strong message to union boss Sean Fain. He's simply tired of being on the picket line at Michigan Assembly in Wayne. The morale is down. I mean, the first week everybody was gung ho. And as of strike week five, times are only getting tougher. I go with the BB King song. The thrill is gone. Nobody wants to do this. We're all going financially bankrupt. You know, we weren't even getting a full 40 hours a week since like May and now to be handed $500 a week before taxes. It's killing us. Darwin says workers are waiting for Ford and Stellantis to put all EV battery production in a UAW agreement they can get behind the way GM pledged to do so. Otherwise, he feels Ford has given them a good enough offer that he can live with. Well, like I tell all these young guys, you know, they're wanting the moon and the stars. Take what you can get before you lose what you got. Meantime, experts watching the auto industry say the strike has prompted a widening shortage of mid-sized trucks, which were already in short supply when the strike began back in mid-September. If you're looking for a Ranger or a Colorado, uh, it may be many months until you can actually find sort of the one you're looking for, uh, because it will take a while to, to rebuild those inventory levels. We were just getting ready to launch the 2024 Ranger and the 2024 Bronco. The 2024 Ranger is sold out for a year, and now it's sitting there empty. Now that was Fox's Dave Kitchen reporting. UAW President Sean Fain has said they won't back down from their demands from Detroit's Big Three. The strike has cost the automotive industry more than $7.5 billion.